What's up, Otaku fam? We are the Otaku Couple, back with more reactions here for the channel with some more Giguk. We have This Girl Will Make Your Dreams Come True. Clearly, he's selling us on another manga. He already, one of his previous videos, we're already currently reacting to one of the animes he mentioned over on our Patreon. Links down below if you're interested. We react to tons of anime, TV shows, and movies completely uncut. Helps us do more content over here on YouTube and focus on this, and you guys get to get more extra content. Let's hop on in. I don't even know what this is about. <laughs> this, this is hard. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. Taylor Swift. Anyone who's ever tried to achieve something will know doing stuff is hard. Starting a business, learning a new language, getting in shape, even as something as trivial as setting up a New Year's resolution you don't immediately give up on after a week of making it. Many of us have something we want to achieve, some far off goal we've had for a while, and here Japan. you are lying in bed at 2 a.m. getting recommended a video of some inspirational asshole going, You want to be an alpha like me? It's easy. I wake up at 3 a.m. last month to get a head start. 4 a.m. Make piss. 5 a.m. Eject piss. 6 a.m. Drink piss. Which is why if any of you have gone through this before, if any of you are in the process of undertaking some big personal project, you need to read Beaten Motion. This is a story about those who have a dream and those who work hard to achieve it, but also how easy it can be to lose your way stumbling across the infinite roadblocks on that path, giving up on it, and becoming bitter about other people trying to accomplish what you couldn't. I've never read a story that hit so close to home when it came to shooting for a goal I set for myself and in the process lit a fire under my ass to not forget why I set that goal in the first place. Because maybe the only missing piece I didn't have for getting to my dreams was right there in front of me. A cute anime girl legging me on. Some dreams can be big, <laughs> some dreams can also be small, like having a nice meal, and that dream might not be so far away thanks to my friends over at Boxu. Yes, okay. Boxu is a premium nice. Japanese snack box that focuses on delivering nice authentic transition. Japanese okay. treats all over the world. They work with family businesses from be all sure over to Japan check it out. New they're a fickle thing, especially if they take off the mask. Many of us have had our own dreams, and somewhere along the way we may have given up on that dream. Maybe you've gotten older and had that cynical friend tell you to grow up because that dream's never gonna happen. If that's true, just remember these words. Bees don't waste their time explaining to flies why honey is better than shit. <laughs> That was a real I like quote that. I saw on TikTok about achieving your dreams. But hey, maybe that guy was nice. onto something. Honey That's doesn't deep. Really taste better than shit, probably. Now tell me, are you a bee or a fly? Huh? <laughs> Tatsuhiko huh? is a fly. <laughs> But he wasn't always like that. The only thing he ever wanted to become as a kid was an animator. Day in, day out, he would draw, show his parents, improve his craft. An animator was what he was going to become until one day when some bullies showed his work to a girl and she said the one thing no boy ever wants to hear. Ew. Cringe. Yeah, I know. Even to this day, cringe takes the lives of thousands of teenagers worldwide. <laughs> so he vowed never to be cringe again and quit drawing. His dream ended as quickly as it started. That is, until he found a new passion, a new dream, music. He pours everything into okay. music, his heart, his soul. He started a band, he started composing his own songs. He was painfully mediocre. He didn't have the spark, he didn't have the talent, and over time crashes back down to reality. Classic fly behavior. Over time, we realize classic average fly people behavior. don't achieve their dreams. It's dumb to even have dreams. Let's just start shitting on everyone around me who has a stupid dream they want to shoot for. <sighs> what a loser. You know the thing about guys like you? I hate their gut! <laughs> This is Nico, a cool, spunky, emotional girl and certified fly hater. The type of certified person who isn't going to let some hater. downbeat loser shit on other people's dreams, even if it means briefly making it seem like she pushed that loser into an oncoming vehicle. Jesus, all right, that's a bit excessive. So Tatsuhiko does what any man would do after confronting a near-death experience with a truck and a cool anime girl. Get inspired. <laughs> Get inspired. <laughs> Sakai fans be like. He questions how that bright, <laughs> optimistic kid turned into such a sad, twisted adult. He starts trolling through years of his old animation, and you know what? They weren't bad. They were decent, and most importantly, he had fun doing them. Why did he ever give up on this dream in the first place? Maybe he was just approaching it wrong. Maybe it wasn't just a waste of time. Maybe he could actually do it, and before he knew it, a flame had been lit up again. He spends the next three months animating a fan made music video of his favorite in the singer. It's tough work. Aww. It didn't turn out perfect, but he felt a satisfaction he thought he couldn't feel anymore. And at the end of that tunnel, there was someone there, someone who had been waiting years to see him again. He was. That inner child bursting with vigor and enthusiasm he thought was long gone, lost in the cynical road to adulthood when in reality he was right there, waiting for that young spark of passion to be reignited. That 
was chapter one. Dreamcast, Cadbury's, Minecraft. If you couldn't tell, this is a manga <laughs> about dreams. What does it mean to shoot for a dream? How easy it is to get lost on the way of achieving it. The importance of having one in the first place. Beaten Motion is a manga that immediately connected with that side of me that wanted to go out and achieve something. That feeling you get when you make the commitment to undertake a massive life project. This is a story about art and artists and the struggles that goes into being creative, but really, it hits an emotional core I think almost anyone can relate to. Everyone. Everyone I know has an ambition, even if that ambition is just trying to find an ambition in the first place. And this is a bitingly real look at what that journey looks like. Not just for Tatsuhiko. Nico, it turns out, is the indie singer he was a fan of and drew an animated video for. Oh. And even though she's clearly more outspoken about people who put down other people's dreams, that doesn't mean she doesn't get anxiety about achieving her own. She wants to be a famous singer-songwriter. The path for anyone getting to their goals can be far more arduous than we ever imagined when we set out on that journey. Sometimes, all it takes is the right person to say the right thing at the right time to ignite your passion for something, but... Sadly, what I feel we see more often is the wrong person saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. Oh, it completely yeah. extinguishes that passion. And beat emotion is chock full of moments on both sides of that spectrum you see without being overly optimistic or cynical with the reality of what it's like to chase a dream. One scene that stood out for me was when a famous director was giving advice to a bunch of school kids. If you have a dream, he said, imagine yourself in five years, then ten years. Fully visualize a path to that dream of yours, then write it down and look at it from time to time. And some kids like, that's it? That's all we need to do? And he's like, nope. But no dream will come true if you can't imagine it first. Now that's some B talk right that's there. That's some B talk. Us, dreams remain just that. <laughs> dreams. Something intangible, something out of reach, and sometimes there's a certain comfort in that. When there's a goal so far beyond your grasp, you can fantasize about it. Imagine yourself in that position, and it feels good. There's no pressure for you to go out and do it, because you can never imagine yourself getting there in the first place. But once you actually take the steps to visualize your path to that goal, that's what separates the dreamers from the believers, the bees from the flies. You're not just a boy with a dream anymore, you're a man with a plan. And if we can collectively <laughs> all do that, then together we will be men with plans. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. But this is when it starts getting scary. It's not just some far off idea. It actually seems tangible. And what's terrifying isn't the thought of not achieving your dreams. It's the thought of trying and failing along the way. This right. is a fear every character in the story is constantly struggling with. Not me though, I don't have that issue because you know, mama didn't raise no quitter and you can't quit something if you never started anything in the first place. <laughs> Early on, Nico and Tatsuhiko have a shared dream of working on a big project together. She'd write and sing the song and he'd animate the music video. She makes the beats, he makes the motions. Eh? Get it? Eh? Ah! They need to discuss ideas, scout locations, storyboard <laughs> scenes. They were making progress. They were taking all the That's right so steps. That's so cool. Oh, what's this? Out of nowhere, Nico gets an offer to be signed by a massive record label. The project has to be put on indefinite hold. But that's fine, you know, because at least one of them gets to have their dream come to fruition. This is great news. That project can just wait for another time. For now, let's just be happy that one of them gets to take a big step towards their dreams. Oh, what? The day she was getting signed, the higher-ups of the record label decide to stop debuting all new artists due to budget issues. For how long? For an undetermined amount of time. I've never seen a story so accurately portray that unpredictable journey you can take when trying to achieve something. You may have this all mapped out in your head. You start at point A and your destination is at point B. That's where your goals lie. Simple. But then due to unforeseen circumstances, it means you have to have a pit stop at C first, then D, then E, then F, then G, and before you know it, your map looks like this. You're completely lost. You don't even know where you are, where your destination is, or even why you started the journey in the first place. It's a shonen battle series where the end game is your dream and your opponent is... Life. And let me tell you, whoo, life pretty damn OP. The series has this way <laughs> I've got hands for real. It makes it feel like it hits close to home. This is the debut manga of Naoki Fujita, but you'd think that they'd be a veteran that's been in the industry for years with the way he lays out these panels that sometimes feels a little too real. Even if it's just some small moment that doesn't have any bearing to the larger plot, there's a scene where Tatsuhiko is just reminiscing on how he got this passion in the first place. And the manga takes us back to when he was a kid, standing at the beach. When you're in school, you're bombarded with different stimuli that come crashing at you. And as he looks down, he sees different pieces of paper, math, PE, English, movies. He happened to pick up the fragment that said anime. Other kids picked up different fragments and he walked away leaving the other fragments behind. And seeing this, even though I'd never heard anyone describe it this way, I was like, damn, 
I get that. The manga has this way of conveying yeah. thoughts and imagery that seems so intimate you can almost feel the author's own life experience bleed across every page. This doesn't just feel like a fictional story, this feels like someone's deepest emotions, hopes and anxieties etched onto the page. Some lines of dialogue feel so biting, I almost feel like I'm intruding in a therapy session hearing all the lines the mangaka ever received on his own journey. Characters will say a piece that cuts so deeply it almost feels a bit too on the nose and I'm sitting here thinking man are you good? Is there anything you want to get off your chest? But it's moments <laughs> like these that give the story its weight. This is a series that exudes genuine human emotion from every single page. It's the type of story you can find something to learn from without it ever being too preachy. I honestly feel like anyone who has a goal in life or even those who are lost and perhaps searching for one will find a moment that really hits close to home to something you've gone through or are dealing with. I know I found myself losing hope of achieving my goals before. I've wanted something and worked my ass off to get there but somewhere along the road I'd lost touch with the motivation I had when I started it. But sometimes you get that moment where you feel that spark being relit and those are the moments that stick with you. Those sparks are the save point on the journey to making your dream come true and it's those little moments I think that is what Beaten Motion is all about. This is a series that shows you every side of that long arduous road anyone takes when achieving something. It doesn't sugarcoat anything but it doesn't undermine the value of smaller more intimate goals no matter how trivial or meaningless those goals may seem to other people. Are you enjoying the weather there? Yeah I'm enjoying it. Yeah but you're in the bin. It calls people out for judging <laughs> yeah, but you're in the bin. dreams and makes it clear that all dreams no matter how big or small are valid and important to those who work hard to achieve them. This is not bad. If I want to have a, a swim in my own bin on the hottest day that we've ever had in England, then I'm entitled to do so. And while calling those people out, teaches you to own up on your own harsh criticisms of others. All right, sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. Toddle. But without all said, Off it's still remains grounded. It keeps you keenly aware that you need to be realistic. Most dreams don't come true. I guess what I'm trying to say with all this is, I'm actually a fly. I'm actually a fly. I remain unconvinced about buddy. Well, all right. I'm unconvinced about honey. Listen, honey tastes good. Man, I'm telling you, that just Gook should just be the PR person for every anime and manga series known to mankind. He, he can that, sell anybody on any anime or any manga. That one got which me. Which makes he it even it. more so, uh, you know, weird that he still hasn't watched Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> but no, that got me. I'm curious about that. Yep. It's relatable as hell. It we've is. all been there. How we've been, we've both been through that on this YouTube journey over the last few years, mm -hmm. plenty of times. <laughs> I can't even this. begin to tell you what sparks the motivation to do something. Do every time that there's been a big change on this channel, that's what happened. We got a motivational spark to do something fucking different, see if it works, it's and then it does. At least for a, a while. Drink. Yeah, I get my best thoughts when I drink. <laughs> how this was developed. That's a true story. <laughs> Drinking Just, and playing video games. Yeah. This was originally going to be a gaming channel because gaming with her was fucking hilarious. Was, I was like, <laughs> why is this not being recorded and put onto the internet? I'll tell you why. Gaming channels are hard to make nowadays. <laughs> That's why we do it just for fun. Exactly. And have you guys come hang out with us while I get scared. Especially in our Discord. There's mm -hmm. a lot of game rats over there. Lethal Company's been something, I'll tell you what. I scream a lot. I made a sick jump and got attacked for it. It was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, no, I'm, every time Google uploads a video about a manga or something, I'm always like, well, I'm going to check it out because mm -hmm. I've never heard of it, but he's probably going to sell me on it. And sure enough, I would love to he check does, this series out. He does out. do really good about... Like, his, script, his script work and his just research about that, mm -hmm. about the whatever material he's he's covering is top notch mm -hmm. he should just be the pr person for if you if you have a company and you're developing an anime or a manga just reach out to you he'll get it he'll get eyes on it he'll sell the fuck out of that thing for <laughs> you <laughs> that transition to boxu was so clean right remember guys don't be a fly be a bee thank you guys for the continued support we will see you for the next video bye <laughs> So does your dad. <laughs>